Hello, welcome. This is part 17, I believe, of uh, Dark Souls. Let's play. Bah, messed it up again. Um, anyway, we're back where we left off, back in the trophy room. Try to get a nice little cinematic shot there. Um, but like I said, we've uh, mostly cleared out the level. Um, obviously, we've got a few loose ends, which we're going to deal with down the road. But for now, let's get to the main event. Uh, we got a boss to fight. And um, now I'm going to make it a little easier by summoning somebody. Uh, actually gonna have to clear out this room. Let's uh, let's take the long way around, um, fight the Silver Knight so he's not shooting at us, because honestly these two guys right here can sometimes be more difficult than the main boss. <laughs> but um, for reasons we'll uh, see in a moment here. But if we go around here, and we fight this guy, we should be able to take him out pretty easily. And just like that. Real easy. Um, right here we're going to have a summoning sign for Slayer. I'm not going to summon him quite yet though because these guys here will straight up kill him. <laughs> now let's ooh, get some damage in on this guy. Oh god. Oh Jesus. I might be dead. I'm somehow alive. Ah! Okay. Yeah, so th these guys will heal, by the way. Um, that attack he just did there was actually a miracle you can use called the Wrath of the Gods, uh, which we don't have access to quite yet. But yeah, these guys are bigger, they hit harder, they uh, have miracles, and when they're backing up, they're trying to heal. Ooh, and that thing's got more range than you think, so always back up if you can. Oh man, see, I'm barely keeping up. But that's one down, um, and I think they can drop chunks. Let's uh, take the other one out. This is a nice little uh, warm-up to the main event. I mean, one of your like your opening fights to the ah, where it's just like two fighters who um, you know, they're making their way up, but they're uh, not good enough for the main event. And I'm just rambling again. I'm talking about like boxing <laughs> or UFC fights. Which, you know, obviously, you know, doesn't have to be the main event. Some of the best fights I've seen have been not main event fights. So I definitely don't want to talk down to them, but that's sort of what we're doing now, you know. We're, we're fighting hard enemies that aren't the boss. But anyway, I only have to use two Estus, so I'm going to call that good enough. We're going we're gonna to go fight the fight. Fight the boss, I mean. <laughs> been uh, talking a lot tonight. Might be stammering some words by now, so... There's Solaire. He's gonna is he gonna jump down? Really? I hope that didn't hurt him. He did. He took he took damage for no reason. Awesome. Well we're gonna see if he can make it to the fight. Um now I'm summoning him mostly for showcasing all the summons in the first playthrough. And then um next playthrough for New Game Plus, I'm gonna do it all on my own. So don't you worry. <laughs> I'm gonna do this next fight on my own eventually. And uh I never actually noticed these statues here. I don't know who these guys might be, but uh, they're repeating. Okay, anyway, without any further ado, let's actually get in here and watch a cutscene. Alright, we got Ornstein and Smaller. we're finally here. Um, <laughs> so this is a very infamous fight. Uh, right away you can notice we're fighting two enemies at once. And this is actually perfect because I want Solaire to distract uh, Ornstein for us. Because I do want to take out Smo first. Uh, for reasons that will make sense in a second here. But oh wow, yeah, we are just doing a lot of damage. Now, You'll notice that Smo, he's got some pretty basic attacks, he'll do like a big hop. And there is one attack which is really annoying, which I'll try to get going here. Um, I want to make sure Slayer does not kill the first bait. This thing right here, right? He does like a charging thing. That can be really annoying to deal with. Um, it's not too bad.
I just wanted to stay quiet for the cutscene there. But, um, okay, I'm not wasting a second. Uh, whoever you kill first, the uh, other one will absorb their essence. Um, in this case, Ornstein will absorb Smo's just thickness and become giant. As well as get his uh, butt slam attack. But, uh, yeah, Super Smo, I mean, uh, Super Ornstein here. He's uh, not too bad, you just gotta watch out because there are some attacks that will hit really hard here. Um, this one in particular is really annoying. Best to back up. It's very difficult to properly dodge that attack if you stay close. But like with most big enemies, your safest spot is actually as close as can be, since it sort of jams them up. Oh wow, see that's what I mean. He can hit pretty hard. Okay, yeah, <laughs> hesitated there. Slayer is helping a lot. And this fight, in general, um, there's a huge difference when you have some help versus if you're on your own. Um, my first playthrough, I was on my own. I didn't I didn't even know you could summon... Oh, God, let's see if I survived this. Just barely. Um, really glad that when you get thrown down, you don't take any more damage there. Uh, Slayer might be dead soon, but I really don't care. Um, let's see if we can save him, though. No, don't kill Slayer. Um, but yeah, the difference between having a partner and not having a partner for this fight is huge. Um, oh wow, we got him, and Slayer survived. Hooray! So thanks, Slayer. Um, we got Hornstein's soul. And away he goes. So yeah, we get his soul, and we got his um, ring here, because uh, Hornstein is actually one of the Knights of Gwyn, um, just like how we found... Uh, the wolf ring, which I don't know if it says who this... Yes, yeah, so this belongs to Artorius. He's uh, the Abyss Walker. And we're definitely going to get more into Artorius down the road. We found Hawk's ring. And, uh, or rather, Go's ring. And then here's the Leo ring, which is uh, Ornstein's ring. Um, and this was actually the ring I was talking about that a few episodes ago, where um, it'll boost your counter damage with piercing weapons. Um, which I think I actually, after rewatching it, explained it as well as it can be. Just you hit them when you're stabbing and you do the bonus damage. Night Ring will just amplify that bonus. Um, but yeah, the order that you kill them does matter because uh, whoever you kill last, you'll get their soul. Um, there's no ring for Smo. He's, uh, he's got some dark lore. Um, another thing to point out, just keep in mind that you remember how when we killed Smo, how, I mean when we killed, uh, no, no, when we killed Smo. Ornstein, he uh, you know, he was like all sad and gently went over to uh, say hello, or rather, not, not hello, <laughs> say goodbye, you're dead. He uh, came over to, uh, you know, he was respectful. Uh, just remember that because next time in the next game, we're going to kill Ornstein first, and then we'll see how uh, Smo reacts. But anyway, right here, we're going to find Latrex armor, the um, armor of the Embraced, yeah. Uh, let me put that on real quick, and uh, you'll see actually his armor, it's like, and actually this will be a good use of, well what is it? Uh, you'll see here his armor, the chest plates, is actually just like a pair of arms hugging him, which uh, is kind of cool. And I believe that's because this is like the goddess's arms wrapped around him. Um, the goddess Fina, who, uh, I don't know if we actually even learn any more about him, but I think it's pretty fitting for a guy like Letrek. You know, he's a... I think that's like kind of his his goal is to find the goddess Fina because he wants to uh, do some things with her. You can imagine what someone like Latrek would want to do with the goddess of love. But uh, anyway, Latrek is sort of a... Uh, he's like your chaotic evil or more like chaotic neutral or neutral evil, you know, on those like alignment charts. Um, he lands somewhere on there. Um, he's just sort of looking out for himself and he's uh, not afraid to throw morality out the door, uh, which is why he killed the firekeeper for just a few humanity. Um, but anyway, that's that's it for Latrec. We're not going to see any more of him. Uh, I am going to level up here. I do want more levels as always, but I do want to make sure I save at least 20,000 souls. Uh, if you remember that thing that I said I wanted to do last time I had 20,000 souls, but then decided not to, uh, we're going to do that after this, um, possibly in this episode. Um, we do have a lot of dialogue to cut through, though. Um, so let's go through these doors. Um, been delaying this whole time. And uh, see what we have to greet us. Thou hast journeyed far, 
and overcome much chosen undead. Come hither, child. And here we have the goddess herself. O oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day Father is formed in Obscurus, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. And beseech thee, succeed Lord Gwyn, and inheriteth the fire of our world. Thou shalt endeth this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. Hooray! We we did it. We um we conquered Anna Orlando. Yay! Right. Uh, when I first played, by the way, um, for some reason I didn't think that Ornstein Smug were the final boss. I was like, oh god, what, what is gonna wait me here? And then just walking into this, <laughs> I was a nice relieving moment. So um, a few things, right? Uh, we got the Lord Vessel. Um, that's pretty much what we came here for. That's basically the. Uh, the proof that we are the chosen undead. Um, if you make it this far, that means you're strong enough, and um, you got to go collect the other things. Um, as far as exactly what this does, it, it'll let us warp, like it said, which I've been sort of alluding to. But as far as what exactly this is, it's um, open the final door, fill this bezel with fire link altar. And yeah. So pretty much, we're gonna gather the last remaining souls uh, that are important in the game, and we're gonna put them in there. Uh, but before we do that, let's uh, actually kneel here. And we can actually enter a covenant, which we are going to do. And we got the Ring of the Sun Princess. Hereafter I, Guinevere, shall serve it as thine guardian. If thou so needest, I shall devote all to thine safety. May thou be one with the sunlight forevermore. So yeah, now we're part of the um, Princess Guard. Um, and I thought... Already, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, being part of the Princess Guard, if we put on the ring and we're on multiplayer, sometimes we'll be summoned into this area to fight people that uh, might be doing harm to the Princess, um, for reasons we'll eventually learn. But uh, let's see if she has anything else to say. Since the day father is I think she already said this, so... Um, pretty much she's just telling us, do what Gwyn did, which was throw yourself in the fire. Uh, one last thing to point out, you might see, if you're online, a lot of uh, amazing chest ahead messages, which um, I will say is very earned here. Let's uh, actually use our binoculars here, because they uh, they did not spare a detail here. <laughs> They're truly an amazing chest. Um, but anyway, let's... Um, Let's get out of here, right? We, we have the ability to warp, which is pretty awesome. Um, if you're at a bonfire, you'll notice this warp button. And at a whole bunch of bonfires that we've been to, we can go there, right? Like, we can go back to the depths, we can go to the parish, the Daughter of Chaos, and Orlando, Sunlight Altar, all these cool spots. Uh, we're, we got a few pit stops to make. Let's uh, start with good old Firelink. Got quite a few things to do here. Oh, and I changed my armor, by the way, as I'm sure you noticed. Um, going back to the Elite Knight set, but with the Silver Knight body, I think looks pretty cool. So uh, we got a few things here, like I said. First of which, we're going to talk to Siegmeier. Well, fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the gate, the old fortress. Is that your thing? Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This Knight of Katarina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. So this is a pretty cool miracle. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to okay that, yeah. So, Mint Forest is a pretty awesome miracle, which um, I might actually have enough faith by now to equip and show you guys. Uh, we'll find that out in a moment here. But um, let's go ahead and get our Firekeeper back. 
And just like that, she's alive again. Um, and I remember too, she couldn't talk before because um, her tongue was cut out, which I don't know if I mentioned. <laughs> but um, now that her body's been restored, her tongue got restored with it. So let's see what she has to say. Thank you. I am Anastasia of Astora. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. Yeah, no offense at all. Forgive me. I am impure. My tongue never intended for restoration. Please, if you have any heart, leave me be. I wish not to speak. And speak she won't. That is all the dialogue we're going to get from her. Um, she is uh, a, a good example of uh, putting the dark in Dark Souls, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, we have a girl here who is super depressed, bound by some ancient rituals of we gotta cut out your tongue to make you a firekeeper, which like you know is not necessary at all, but whoever made her a firekeeper decided it is. Um, anyway, we're gonna go up here because we want to say hello to somebody that we will recognize in a bit here. So we do have to kill a few thugs. We just melt like butter. And now if we make a hop here, we will see hanging out over here is not that dead guy, but somehow. So let's see what he does. Aye, Shemai. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> so yeah, um, like I, I think I mentioned, but he sells boss weapons. I mean, not weapons, uh false armor. So uh, we can buy the Golem set, we can buy Ornstein set, and we can buy... Um, oh, we can't buy Smo set. I guess we do have to kill him second to be able to do that, but... Um, yeah, any any boss you see that wears armor, you could probably come here and buy it off of him. So exactly how he gets his hands on all that, um, no one knows, <laughs> but he's gonna hang out here now. Uh, let's see what else he has to say. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. I think that's what he said last time, so... Well, that is a shame. But and yeah, he said that too, so we'll probably buy something off of him eventually. Um, but for now, I don't feel like wasting the souls, like I said. We gotta use these 20,000 souls for something, which we will see in a bit here. Um, more importantly, let's go talk with our um, snakey snake friend. Um, oh, and actually, there's also a big hat Logan is here. Uh, so let's first talk to Griggs, who's gonna be pretty excited about this. Oh, hello again. I was waiting to tell you. Master Logan has returned, and he tells me that he has you to thank. Well, we are both in your debt now. Thank you, sincerely. He's just over there. Go along and have a chat. All right, so let's do exactly that, and we should be smart enough. There you are. I was expecting you. As promised, I will share my sorcery. Yep, we are smart enough, so let's uh, buy some... Actually, we're probably not going to actually buy anything. Um, but yeah, he sells some better sorceries than Griggs. Um, actually, most of them you could have already bought off of him. <laughs> but the two new ones, I think, are these Homing Soul Masses and Soul Spears, which are uh, higher level, but not endgame spells. Um, the Soul Masses, they'll be these orbs that'll sort of like hover around you, and then when you get close to an enemy, they'll shoot at them, and then Soul Spears, just like a big fat bolt of magic that'll do a lot. Um, we're not going to buy any of these yet, mostly because they're expensive. Um, I guess I'll just buy a Solero so I can shoot some of those off, maybe. Um, but yeah, there's no talk option, unfortunately. Heading out, are you? I too will leave soon. Undead or no, I shan't stay here forever. You have great potential. Don't go and die over nothing. Well, luckily, if I die, I can respawn. <laughs> but anyway, what he said is true. He's uh, he's not going to be here after this. Oh, hello. I appreciate the attention, but you really should. That will certainly do. Okay, yeah. Um, he doesn't have much else. Oh, and if you walk away without actually properly exiting, some NPCs will get a little annoyed. Um, but anyway, let's uh, go over here and talk to this guy. He's going to be really excited that we have the Lord Vessel. Heavens, you have done it. You have retrieved the Lord Vessel. After a thousand years, it is you. It is really you. Uh, 
forgive me. I really should calm down. Now, let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still. This is the Firelink Chamber for the successor of Lord. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Cut him off there. This is the Firelink Chamber for the successor of Lord Gwyn. Now, place the Lord Vessel on the altar. Alright, well, didn't miss too much dialogue. Um, a few things to point out. Uh, obviously, that is a pretty gross scene there. Um, if we remember, the Crestfallen Knight was saying how awful it smelled, and that was just from him talking like 40 feet away, so you can only imagine how nasty it would be to actually be in there. But um, anyway, just, you know, let's, let's just take a second and appreciate this, this like, the ridiculousness <laughs> of what we're looking at right now. Um, you know, just, just, just this whole image, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> so anyway, let's uh, go ahead and do what he said. Alrighty, as you could see, uh, I remember that door from the other episode. Uh, now we can actually go through that gate, and um, we're going to be going through there soon enough. Uh, let's see, is there anything else to do here? So yeah, this thing kind of works as a bonfire. Uh, we can level up, we can do all the usual stuff. Um, we can also offer souls to the Lord Vessel, which um, isn't going to do anything yet, because we have to go get them. Um, but essentially right here is where we're going to come at the end of the game. The final door will open for us, and then we can... Uh, wrap things up. But we got a few things to do before then. Um, that kind of wraps up the mid-game of Dark Souls, and now we're approaching the end-game. Um, things are going to really branch out now, as you'll see. Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls, commensurate to the great soul of wind. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, the four kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. And up we go. Alrighty, so, um, like you said, he sort of set us for the next steps of our quest, uh, which is mainly going to be uh, collecting, killing the guys from the opening cutscene. Um, remember, so they have like Nito, the skeleton guy, the Witch of Isolith, uh, the witches, obviously, and um, uh, Seath the Scalus. Scal we saw him. Now, the four kings who he mentioned, they were not in the opening cutscene. Uh, we're going to take them on last, though, so we'll talk more about them when we are ready to cross that bridge. But anyway, there's a few more things. We're, we're near the wrapping up point here. Um, I want to see if... 
Wait, where was it? There was somewhere else I had to go. Ah, uh, now I remember. Uh, we want to go to the Sunlight Altar. And over here, we should find Solaire. Yep, there he is. <laughs> Glad I didn't mess this up like last time. Let's see what he has to say. Hmm. Ah. Uh, oh. Hello there. Forgive me. I was just pondering about my poor fortune. I did not find my own son, not in Anor Londo, nor in Twilight Blight Town. Where else might my son be? Lost Isolis? Or the tomb of the Grave Lord? But I cannot give up. I became undead to pursue this. But when I peer at the sun up above, it occurs to me, what if I am seen as a laughing stock, as a blind fool without reason? Well, I suppose they wouldn't be far off. <laughs> so yeah, he's a little depressed. He's on a quest for a son in, in a game called Dark Souls. Um, it's not the best quest to have. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. See, so yeah, he's just gonna chill here. Um, now, had I done my homework and done some co-op off camera, um, we, he actually would have asked us to uh, join the Warriors of Sunlight right here. Um, now, eventually he's gonna leave, but we can still join that covenant anytime we come back here. Uh, the way that works is that the baseline is you need 25 faith to join, but every time you um, you successfully co-op with someone, that requirement will go down by five. So you'd only have to do co two to get. If you do two co-ops, then you only have to have uh, 15 faith. Yeah, that's uh, that's it. Math, math is hard, guys. Um, but anyway, we can always come back and just pray at the altar and do it. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's take a little look here at the altar. Exactly who it is that might be uh, might be destroyed. Um, he has a spear similar to Ornstein, but it's not exactly Ornstein. Uh, this is something we're not going to find out in Dark Souls. But um, if I ever do get around to uh, some of the later games, we uh, we can learn more about this mystery. As far as like you know, who's the firstborn of Gwyn? Who, uh, if you may have noticed, is uh, He's kind of missing from other records, right? He's not talked about. He's not shown exactly who he might be. Um, we'll have to get into that much, much down the road. Um, but anyway, that is going to do it. This is like a nice, pretty spot to wrap things up. Um, like, like uh, King Seeker guy said, we've got got a lot of things to do. Um, a lot on our agenda. A lot of options. We got four targets to take down: Nito, Witch of Isolith, um, four kings. And Seath the Scaleless. So we can we can take them down in any order we want. Um, I do have my order planned out, but uh, we'll get to that next time. Uh, in the meantime, guys, as always, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, I enjoyed playing this. Dark Souls is my favorite game, so I'm always going to enjoy this. But um, finding that I'm especially enjoying making YouTube videos. Anyway, guys, have a good one. I'll see you next time.